Hey YouTube, this is my first upload ever and today I'll be reviewing the Myonix Neos 3200 High Performance Gaming Mouse. As you can see, this is the mouse itself. Um, its main selling feature is it's a truly ergonomic design for your whole hand without compromising any stability or traction. Um, you can see that it's got seven programmable buttons, so one, two, three with the mouse you're clicking in, four, five, six and seven there. Um, it's got a two meter long braided cable with a, a nice USB cap on the end. If you take that off, then it's got a nice gold plated USB connection there, so that ensures good connectivity. Um, it's got it's completely plug and play, so there's no no software needed to actual get to work. But uh, you need to download the software from the Myonix website if you want to configure the buttons. It's got a 3200 DPI LED optical sensor, which means it's more accurate than other sensors. It's built in memory, so you can record macros. Um, it's got a customizable LED system, which I'll show you once I plug it in. Um, three steps, customizable DPI in-game adjustments, so you can go from a maximum to three predetermined settings. Uh, it's got an adjustable polling rate, so you can tune it all the way up to a thousand hertz through the software. Um, so yeah, let's plug it in and show you what it's like. Okay, as you can see, straight away it lights up. Now at the moment it's on the lowest DPI setting it has, so that's I program it to be red. Uh, if I clicked it up, then quickly it go to green and the highest blue, which is 3200. So if we look at the side, those are the forward and back buttons there, nice and simple. On the back, you've got the Myonix logo, and you can again see the form factor there. It weighs just under 100 grams, so it's quite light. It's got no uh, adjustable weight sliding. That's uh, for the next one up, the uh, Myonix 5200 or 5000. Not too sure about that. It's got four Teflon coated feet, so one there, one here, one there, and one there. That's the sensor itself, um, so it works, and obviously it's on my computer, but it works without even touching the surface, just up to 35 millimeters. And that's about it, really. Um, it's good, good mouse. It's quite lightweight. Um, it's been quite durable. Nice finish to it. And it responds perfectly. Great, yeah, mouse. Thanks.